Right, so I've mocked up a uh, ballot paper for the Senate ballot of New South Wales, Federal Election 2013. Uh, just a quick little uh, video on voting below the line. Uh, as most people know, with uh, voting above the line, uh, I'll run through it anyway, but uh, above the line, which 95% of the voters do, um, you've got two options. You've got this big solid line down the middle of the ballot paper. New South Wales, there's going to be a uh, hundred candidates on there and a lot of parties. Uh, so above the line, you just put a, a number one. And that's it. You're done. Uh, what that does is runs with the group voting ticket. Um, but rather, what I'm going to talk about now is voting below the line. Uh, voting below the line is a little bit different. Uh, the instructions are pretty brief on the card. Uh, but what they do say is you have to fill out every box below the line. There are a few more uh, points to that. Uh, you do only actually do actually only have to fill out 90% of the blocks. You can only make three mistakes. Uh, so th sequential mistakes uh, as such. If you go get up to number 50, um, you skip 51 and go to 52. That's one mistake. Um, but what happens is as soon as you make a mistake in the count, um, they stop counting there because your intentions aren't clear anymore. Uh, we can actually use that to our advantage. Um, I'm going to show you how. So, we uh, know who we want to vote for. Uh, so, we put our first preference in. Okay, second preference in. Now, we've got 110 of these to fill out for the New South Wales. So, we might go through and put a couple more in. So, uh, like these guys here. Okay. And then I'll go on through the rest of them. So, yeah, okay, let's say I've done a few more off the side of the page than other ones. I might be up to maybe number 40, 41. So I've, I've done 40 numbers so far across, across the rest of the card. Um, ooh, don't look like the look of them. Don't look like the look of them. Car, no way I'm voting for him. Doug Cameron, yeah, maybe. So I've gone off the card again and I might be up to, let's say, number 60. So I feel that 60. Um, people and there's a few left. There's 50 left, so I've got to fill them out. Uh, it says you know, fill out 100% of them. There's actually a little trick here. We can get to do, just do it. So we got to 60. Now we can actually block the rest of our vote. So I'll give Bob a 61, and I'll give another Labor candidate a 61. Okay, so I've made an error. So he's not counted and neither is the 61 down here. I do actually have to fill out the rest of the boxes in order. I can't make any more mistakes, so I go 62, it doesn't matter which one, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Uh, go right through to 110. 109, actually, because I uh, duplicated a number. Um, and then we've got a full card. So I've used every single box, we've made one mistake, 61, 61, so my first 60 votes up to Doug Cameron were counted, uh, and my first preferences uh, were counted. Uh, but all these parties that I didn't want to vote for, whilst they got a number there, they're not going to be counted. That's how I'm going to vote below the line. Thank you.